good morning students so today we will learn about internal related thermal terminology a uh, few terms are always used while uh, you are browsing through internet or while using internet while quite often you will be hearing these terms so there are different terms which are related to internet we will uh, see about them we will learn about them so first is world wide web a uh, world wide web is a set of programs standards and protocols that allow the multimedia and hypertext files to be created displayed and liked on the internet so everything is included here like uh, images files uh, text files or videos or mp3 sounds anything everything which is included in internet everything falls under world wide web in very beginning in the first class i already have discussed about world wide web and also i discuss about uh, difference between internet and world wide web if you have not uh, seen that video then go and see that video again you can see the difference between world wide web and internet which is not given in this book but still for your knowledge if you want to see you can see the video uh, so we cannot say that world wide web is internet but uh, world wide web is a part of internet uh, and also you will see that uh, every files are uh, which are included in world wide web they somehow they are interconnected next how does it work so when uh, how does a ww the w work as a client like uh, we are the client we we use any browser and we send some http request to the web server for a particular uh, file uh, maybe you just click the link from whatsapp so your Uh, mobile phone is a client and it requested this video as a file the web server contains the web pages and files the web server sends the request back to the client so the web server here uh, that is youtube will send the requested file that is this video to the client to you the file mostly web pages uh, may, most of the time it is uh, web pages but here since we are using a web uh, that is an app so even that's uh, very a uh, different type of web pages which is designed for mobile phones and it is then rendered or it is displayed through a web browser but here you are using a application so using that application you are seeing this video then again the web browser displays the information based on the html code in the file even here there are some html codes but directly uh, those html uh, using that html codes this video is included in this app and so that's how you are getting this information so basically this is how world wide web works then web server a web server is a software and hardware that uses uh, the, and hardware that uses http and other protocols to respond to client requests made over the world wide web the main job of the web server is to display website content through uh, through storing processing and delivering web pages to the user so web server is as uh, it's a place where Um, most of the informations in text file or uh, videos or uh, images are all stored there so using uh, http protocol that is this rules and regul certain rule and regulation uh, these informations are uh, provided to the clients through http next domain name and address so domain name and address Uh, there is no central administration of internet with millions of users so many users are there uh, domain name is, you can say you can take this example www.example.com this is a domain name www.google.com is a domain name okay http is the prefix then www is known as the sub domain then example is the name and extension is .com as a uh, as a whole this name and extension is known as the domain name Uh, youtube.com that is also a domain name so uh, all the addresses of that of a website you can say that it is a domain name and addresses actually addresses are some ip addresses are there some numbers some digits are there you uh, do, those are known as the addresses so in domain name and descriptions you can see .com is known as a co company or commercial organizations like microsoft.com or youtube.com then dot edu is used for educational institute then dot gov is used for, used for government organization like white house dot gov then dot mil is used for military site dot net is used for network uh, resources like intern internic dot net then org is also used for 
organizations maybe it, it may be some non profit organization or non commercial organizations then uh, as a country wise you can see au is uh, is australia ca for canada fr for france uk for united kingdom in for india so if you see any like dot net dot in then it is for uh, network provider and india in comment section you tell me what is dot uh, pk okay uh, it's not given here okay so here you can see for netherlands nl jp japan russia united states united kingdom so so many uh, domain extension are there for different countries domain naming service domain name services is an application service that translates the ip addresses into more recognized and memorable name for us uh, you uh, this number actually not that possible to remember so many websites we know but we don't uh, if we if we are given the numbers it is not possible for us to remember all the numbers like ibm.com we can easily remember ibm.com but the ip address of ibm.com is 129.41.38.1 so i don't think that it is uh, it is convenient or it will be easier for us to remember the name and also you can see apple.com it's uh, 17.72.22.4 so uh, you can uh, uh, relate with phone numbers you can easily remember your friend's name and you can search on your contact list but if you have to remember your friend's number hundreds of uh, your, you have more than 100 friends so it is not possible to remember all the 100 numbers right so it is better that you save it as a name and it, it is easier for us to search the name so same way it's here it is easier for us to remember the name than the numbers then uniform resource locator a uniform resource locator colloquially i don't know how it's uh, spelled termed a web address is a reference to a web resources that specify its location on the computer network so uniform resource locator where that uh, particular website is located on which server on which file uh, this url helps in locating that particular website so here again http it's the protocol hypertext transfer then www subdomain google is a domain name dot com is what it's that extension okay so as a whole this is known as a uniform resource locator then web browser a web browser is a software application for accessing information on the world wide web to access internet you need a web browser nowadays if you are using a mobile phone then application is enough to browse through the internet but for seeing any information like uh, wikipedia or if you want to search something through google you need a web browser so there are different type of web browsers like mozilla Google Chrome, Microsoft Internet Explorer, uh, Apple Safari and Opera. Then website. Our website is a collection of web pages and related content that is identified by a com common dom domain name and published on at least once, uh, one web server. So a web website you can see lots of web pages are uh, connected and they are all uh, interconnected with each other and it is published on some web, ser web server. It has to be published uh, in a server it has to be uploaded only then you can search through internet uh, by using a browser and then we can call it as a website then web portal a web portal is a specifically designed website that brings information from diver diverse resources uh, sources like emails online forums and search engines engines together in a uniform way so web portal you can say it will be a, a website which will collect information from different sources from emails online forums search engines together so if you are searching a particular information suppose you want to search something about um, football if you search it on a google if you type football and press enter you will see you get uh, you will get different links of different websites so google is a web portal and uh, all the informations are uh, uniformly it is organized web page a web page is what you see in your browser when you are to the internet so whenever you are using internet the pages that you see particular page that is known as a web page and which is uh, and web page is designed using which language html then home page the first page of any website is known as the home page 
whenever you uh, visit any uh, website particular website suppose wikipedia.com if you type www.wikipedia.com the first page that you see is known as the home page in the same way if you uh, visit like www.youtube.com then that first page that you see is actually the home page of that particular web page uh, website then intranets and extranet. extranets you already know about internet but these two terms intranet and extranet first let us see what is an intranet an intranet is a computer network for sharing information collaboration tools operational system and other computing services within an organization usually to the uh, to the exclusions of access by outsider so actually intranet is a network which is only for a particular organization for example in a bank the outsider people cannot access the inf uh, every information okay uh, let's say again uh, if we in our school we have uh, all the computer labs are connected then only teachers and students can access uh, any of the computer any of the server then that will be intranet then extranet is what if a particular portion is available for customers or some other uh, other people then it is known as the extranet in again if we take the bank example every information cannot be accessed by a customer they can only view their account information but every uh, every information of the bank they cannot access so they will it will be extranet if you see this image I think it will be clear if you have a business then uh, your business as a whole it is a network then intranet means that entire business only a particular information is available for some people then it will be intranet then again extranet is if particular information very small information of the, your business is available for outsider then it is known as the extranet that person is not necessary that that person will work with uh, in the same organization he can somehow he can be related to that uh, business maybe a customer or maybe a client then he is allowed to view only a certain portion so that will be extranet so if it is clear then uh, do write the difference what is the difference between intranet and extranet extranet and if you have any doubt then ask me okay so thank you and if you have any question you can ask me thank you